Hey everyone, this video is going to be about partial unemployment benefits. This is a new rule that has been implemented in order to better provide the unemployment benefits for everyone, including individuals working part-time. I'll give you a brief overview about the new program, then I'll talk about the criteria for eligibility and circumstances that might make you ineligible for the program. And finally, we'll go through the guidelines for reporting the working hours in depth. But before we begin, I would like to let you know that the main purpose of the videos I've created so far are to help people who are confused on the topic of unemployment insurance or pandemic unemployment assistance and the entire COVID-19 circumstances that people are facing. I'm trying to guide individuals to get the financial assistance during the economic hardship. So if you like the work I'm doing and the videos I've made so far, then please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Also, you can leave a comment below and ask me any questions related to unemployment insurance or pandemic unemployment assistance, and I'll do my best to answer them all. Also, if you're new to my channel and you haven't watched my other videos about missing back date certification and requesting back pay, then click on the link above to check them out. So with that out of the way, let's begin the video. The new partial unemployment system has been created in order to redefine how part-time work impacts the unemployment benefits. Unlike previous method which took the total number of days you have worked in that week to evaluate how much unemployment benefits will one be eligible for, this new system will evaluate based on hours you have worked rather than days, which makes it fairer and more equitable system for part-time workers, meaning people will have opportunities to work part-time while collecting regular unemployment insurance or PUA. So yes, it is applicable for both unemployment insurance and pandemic unemployment assistance. This new system is completely based on our basis, so now you can work up to seven days without losing full unemployment benefits for that week, as long as you don't cross the maximum hours limit and you are making less than $504. So with this system in place, your benefit will not be reduced for each day you engage in part-time work, but rather it will reduce in increments based on your total hours of work for the week. If you are confused, don't worry, we'll go over exactly how the hour system is calculated in a bit. Moving over to the eligibility criteria, partial unemployment benefits are available to both unemployed and part-time employees. Most people who collect unemployment are out of work, but partial unemployment benefits allow those who are still working to claim aid as well. If your hours have been reduced or you are working part-time and cannot find additional work, you may be eligible for part-time unemployment benefits. There are several circumstances that make a person eligible for assistance. A person may be underemployed or working part-time as the only alternative to being laid off or made redundant. A person who lost their full-time job or even one of their two part-time jobs and was only able to find a part-time or temporary work may also meet the requirements to receive the benefits. But do remember that the eligibility for partial unemployment benefits is determined by state law. And although benefit eligibility varies, most states agree that a worker who voluntarily chooses to cut back on hours or work part-time is not eligible for partial unemployment benefits. So when can't you file for partial unemployment? In general, voluntary reasons to reduce working hours are not sufficient for collecting partial unemployment. So for example, these reasons likely won't make the cut. Cutting your working hours to return to school or acquire additional training, working a reduced schedule to accommodate childcare or other caregiving needs, Quitting your full-time work and acquiring a part-time job that doesn't pay as much as your previous employment. Now, if you're still confused on the exact criteria or requirements and if you're not sure, even then it makes sense to file anyways. Your state unemployment office will be able to tell you whether you are entitled to receive the benefits or not. Now, let's dive into the exact guidelines on how to file a partial claim. So if you have worked up to four hours in the week, then you will not have to report any day as worked, and this will lead to no reduction in your weekly benefit. For example, if you have worked two days in a week, but you're only working two hours per day, then in total, you worked four hours for that week. 
So in that case, you will not have to report any day as worked and you will still be able to collect your full unemployment benefits. Now, if you work from 5 to 10 hours in a week, then you will only need to report one day as working, regardless of how many days you worked to reach that 10 hours for that week. For example, if you work two days for five hours each, or you worked three days for three hours each, you'll just have to report one day as working, and you'll only lose 25% of your unemployment benefit for that week. But under the old system, you'd have to mention as two days or three days and you would lose 75% of your benefit amount. And if you have worked for 11 to 20 hours, then you will only have to report two days as worked and you would only lose 50% of your benefit amount. Similarly, if you have worked 21 to 30 hours in a week, then you'll only have to report three days as worked and you would only lose 75% of the benefit. So let's say you worked part-time for five days a week for six hours each day. Then your total work hours will be 30 hours. And you'll only have to report three days of work and you'll only lose 75% of benefit amount. Whereas under the old system, if you worked for four days or more, regardless of the working hours, then you would lose all of your unemployment benefit amounts. And finally, if you worked more than 31 hours in a week, then you will have to report it as four days as worked. And in this case, you would lose all your unemployment benefit. Also, one more thing, if you worked more than 10 hours a day, then you'll only need to count 10 hours for that day. For example, if you worked 12 hours in one day and nine hours in another day, then you'll only need to report it as 10 hours for the first day and nine hours for the second day totaling in 19 hours for the week, not 21 hours. So again, in this way, you'll only have to report it as two days as worked instead of three days, resulting in 25% saving from unemployment benefit. So this is a very good news for people who can only find part-time work, but were reluctant because they would lose their unemployment benefits. Now you don't have to worry about it. It's also a good thing for employers who are looking for part-time employees as they could only afford to keep part-time employees in a tough economic market. They were also having a very hard time finding a part-time workers, but now because of this new system, it will definitely help grow the economy back slowly but surely. So that's it for this video. It's a very good news for a lot of people, I'm sure, and it's a great way to get the economic engine running back again. If you have any confusions or questions, then please leave the comment below and I'll answer them all to the best of my knowledge. Once again, if you like the work I'm doing, then please subscribe to my channel, give it a like, hit the notification bell for the new informative videos. Thank you everyone and have a good one.